Hi friends, my name is Carla. Welcome to Faith at Home. I'm here with my altar. I put my offering in the basket to share. I lit my candles to remind me that Jesus is the light of the world and he shows us the way. Let's sing our thank you song before we get to our story today. Thank you, God, for giving us life. Thank you, God, for giving us life. Thank you, God, for giving us life right where we are. Alleluia, praise the Lord. Alleluia, praise the Lord. Alleluia, praise the Lord. Right where we are. Amen. Um, today, our story is from the book of Mark, and we're going to talk about a parable that Jesus taught. Now, a parable is a story that's meant to teach something. A parable has a deeper special meaning than just what you hear in the story. It takes a little thinking and sometimes some talking and explanations. Jesus told parables to teach us about God's love and how God wants us to live. The parable of the sower is what we're doing today. And it teaches us about the Bible and God's word and God's love. So let's start by reading from the Bible. This is the book of Mark in the New Testament, chapter four, it's called the parable of the sower. And maybe you'll see over here, I have some things to help us think about what we're hearing in this story. Again, Jesus began to teach by the lake. The crowd that gathered around him was so large that he got into a boat and he sat in it on the lake while all the people were along the shore at the water's edge. He taught them many things by parables. And in his teaching, he said, listen, a farmer went out to sow his seed. As he was scattering the seed, some fell along the path and the birds came and ate it up. Some seed fell on rocky places where it did not have much soil. It sprang up quickly because the soil was shallow. But when the sun came up, the plants were burned and they withered because they didn't have much root. Other seed fell among thorns, which grew up and choked the plants, so they did not grow and bear grain. Still other seed fell on good soil. It came up, grew, and produced a crop, some multiplying 30, some 60, some 100 times. At the end of the story, Jesus said, whoever has ears to hear, let them hear. Does that story make sense? Let's see. It would make more sense if everybody understood that the seeds in the story are God's word from the Bible. These are the things God's trying to teach us. All these things that are in the Bible that came from the old stories of Noah and Abraham and Isaac, and all the things that we learned from when Jesus was alive, the stories of how he healed people and how he taught people. So the seeds are God's work. Let's get a little closer. Let's see, here's our paths down here. All right, so first the seeds fell on a path right here, just fell on this path. There wasn't much good soil, not much dirt there. So the birds came and took it away. Nope, it didn't have a chance to grow. The birds got it. That's supposed to mean that things, in this story, the birds are things like our bad choices, the sins and our temptations and the things we want, even though we know we shouldn't, or the mean things we say, even though we know we shouldn't. They take God's goodness right away from us and make us feel bad inside. So our good thoughts and our good feelings can't grow on that path. Some other seeds, some more of God's word, dropped on a rocky path. Hmm. It didn't have very good soil either. They grew real quick, real small. And then the sun came out and they just burned up became like these hard rocks. 
they didn't grow into good things either. The third path where some of the seeds fell, more of God's teaching and more of God's word, was covered with weeds. Some things were growing there, but the weeds took away all, all the nutrients the weeds didn't share, and the weeds choked out the seeds, and they couldn't grow there either. Now the fourth path, lots of nice dirt. See that? Lots of thick dirt, and the seeds could just drop right in there and get buried until they could get watered and they could grow and grow and grow into good things. They sprouted and they grew and they made good things. And this is us. When we remember God's word, when we live the way God wants us to, when we love, when we share, it makes good things for others and ourselves. This is the path that God wants us to go on. He wants us to grow and be fruitful and be happy and share and have a good life. Will you pray with me? I'm just going to use a little song. Lord, let my heart be good soil, open to the seed of your word. Lord, let my heart be good soil, where love is grown and peace is understood. Amen. Thanks, friends.